Macquarie Island Pest Eradication Project is one of the most ambitious pest eradication projects in the world. It aims to completely eradicate rabbits, rats and mice from Macquarie Island. The $25 million project took more than four years to plan. The first phase was aerial baiting of the entire island, which was completed in 2011. We had two bait loading teams. Uh, there's a team leader and, and four bait loaders. The bait loaders would work uh, two on top of the bait pods loading bait into the helicopter buckets and the other two were responsible for the empty bags as they were passed down. The bait that we used was a, a product called Pestoff 20R and it contains Brodifacum as its active ingredient and it had a, a proven track record and it had been successfully used on Campbell Island to eradicate uh, Norway rats. One of the things that makes an eradication possible, especially on this scale, is, uh, is the development of GPS. GIS is a um, digital product which allows us to put maps on the screen to be able to see um, spatial information. For eradication jobs you need to ensure that the, um, the data is exactly where it should be. Once those flight lines are generated at the GPS, uh, the pilots um, are allocated a, a line number to start on. They head out uh, to, that, to that line and, and their task is to fly that line as accurately as they can and then they uh, work their way across uh, the, the lines and, uh, until they need to come back for more bait. We were flying lines, 40 metre lines mostly and uh, wanting to stay in with a metre accuracy, which is reasonably hard to achieve within the, in the weather conditions quite often. Once you got over that um, 20 odd knots, it's quite hard sometimes to stay in line, especially in the lee of, of some of the, of the mountains and the cliff faces. One of the ways to minimise our risk of failure is to do everything we possibly can to make sure that every pest animal has a chance to access bait. One of the ways we do that is by spreading bait twice and by putting on an application rate that reflects what we expect to happen. We know that the rabbit densities are higher just below the escarpment down towards the coastal area, so we actually put on a higher rate of um, poison in that area. There were a couple of specific areas on the island where, where helicopters couldn't penetrate with the bait, which we followed up by hand baiting. The aerial baiting was extremely successful and there has been no sign of rats or mice. Nine adult rabbits have been located since the bait drops and hunters continue to search for the last remaining rabbits. 